Hey everybody, today we're gonna to start a brand new series because we're getting a ton of questions, comments, and emails as to which tools I like better than others. And if you followed my videos for a long time, you know I've reviewed a lot of drills, a lot of saws, and a lot of impact wrenches, but obviously some brands and certain models are gonna be better than others. So what we're gonna do in this series is focus on my top five picks per manufacturer. And to start out, we're gonna look at Milwaukee Tools. Now, in addition to that, because they make cordless tools as well as corded tools and they have different voltages, I'm gonna focus on the product lineups inside of those brands. Today, we're gonna to look at Milwaukee's M18 lineup and I'm gonna go through my top five picks of the tools in that series. Starting out with number five would be the M18 brushless half inch drill driver. Now this is not a hammer drill, so it would not be effective at drilling into stone, brick, or even concrete. But as far as drilling into wood and metal, it is extremely effective. It has the full-size metal ratcheting half-inch chuck, and it weighs less than four pounds. So with a two amp hour battery pack installed, it's coming in at three pounds, 12 ounces. And overall, this is a very compact unit. If we compare that side by side with the M18 Fuel Model 2703, you can see the big bump up in size. And then if you pick them both up, you'll see the bump up in weight. Now the M18 Fuel with a five amp hour pack is coming in at over five pounds. So this is over one pound lighter. And if you're holding that out for an extended period of time, it does make a big difference. So really, if you're looking at both of these and you don't have the need for very, very large holes, or extreme run times, the small compact brushless edition would be a lot better choice. Number four would be the 2792 M18 radio charger. Now the reason I like this, it is extremely well built, it has some great sound, it does not have a lot of interference or really any static even if you turn it up a lot. And because you can stream directly from your phone, you can easily just, let's say, set this in the back seat of your SUV or you can pop it out on the porch, control everything from your phone. You don't have to constantly deal with these dials. Now, I'll typically listen to Pandora radio or even a podcast. I'm not normally listening to the radio portion of this, but it does have an antenna that'll flip up and it can pick up all your standard stations. Now, the real good thing about this charger versus some other ones that are built in with, let's say, a radio, or if you have a charger next to your radio, you know when you plug a battery into that charger, you instantly hear interference. That's not the case with this. There's zero interference if it's charging the battery on the back. And what that's gonna allow you to do is listen to music and charge batteries at the same time without hearing all that annoying static. Now, the one thing I do not like about this radio is the button on the front. Specifically, because when you press this in, let's say you're carrying it and that hits your leg, it automatically cuts the unit on, or it would cut it off. I do think they should have a different on-off switch, but that's my only complaint with this charger. And I gotta tell you, as far as being able to charge your phone with it, with an included USB port, or automatically switching between AC power and DC power, whether you plug it in or run the battery pack, it does not change the sound levels or the sound quality at all. Number three would be the Milwaukee 2763 half inch brushless M18 fuel high torque impact wrench. Now this is an excellent tool. Many people have bought this because of my videos. They really like it and they very rarely run into problems with it. And overall, I do think it's an excellent unit. It's not the most powerful cordless impact wrench on the market, but it's right near the top and really for any automotive applications, it's more than adequate. Now the one thing I don't really like about this other than the weight is really the speed or power mode one. And if you do have this and you already know, that's pretty much good for only running down a bolt. It's not good for tightening anything up. So I wish that they did have that with some higher torque like the 2762 or the 2764 because I think the 100 foot pound max rating that they have with that is actually too low. Now this is their original release as far as a brushless half inch high torque impact wrench. I would imagine when the Gen 2 comes out, it will have additional features. But as far as a very well built and long lasting tool, the 2763 has not had any issues. Number two would be the model 2729 M18 fuel porta band. This is an extremely quick and easy way at cutting through metal. And if you notice the throat capacity, it's a maximum five inches by five inches. 
That can cut through a massive piece of pipe or even a piece of angle iron. You can get a quick clean cut and you're not dealing with a bunch of sparks. Now because this is using standard portaband blades, which are 44 and 7 8 inches, you don't have to buy them specifically off of Milwaukee. Anybody's blade you can pop right on here and get to work. Now when we take a look at a high capacity battery pack, the brushless motor and then the low RPMs, it means that you'll get excellent run times. Now there are some things about this that you don't see on other cordless porta bands. The two that stand out right off the bat would be the rafter hook, which I hang on the side of the shop press to keep it out of the way. And the other thing is the tool free adjustable shoe. This will allow you to line up and have a very stable cut. You don't need to use Allen wrenches to loosen that up and using this is going to be extremely simple. And my number one favorite M18 tool out of every single one that they make is the M18 2363 LED floodlight lantern. This will give you 360 degrees of light. It has three different brightness levels as well as a strobe mode. And it has the true view lighting which shows you the true colors. So it doesn't have any color distortion. It has a great flow of light over the entire area, and it does last an extremely long time. Now I'll use these with high capacity battery packs, but what's funny is you see the light from this on almost every video that I do and you just don't realize it. I can position this around to eliminate shadows, and I gotta tell you, as far as the light quality, the overall construction of this falling off of things, and then the overall life of the unit, I'm extremely happy with it. Now when this first came out, I did a full review about it. It is a popular video, you might want to check that out. But they have this one as well as the M12 version. I use them almost always on a daily basis. I run the battery packs down constantly. And they also have built-in USB ports if you wanted to charge your cell phone. So if you're looking for somewhere to start with the M18 lineup, I would highly suggest picking up these lights. The runtime is excellent. The quality is excellent, and then more importantly, the light output is going to be excellent. So as far as my number one recommendation, it's going to go to the 2363 M18 Floodlight Lantern. So now you've seen my top five picks in Milwaukee's M18 cordless lineup. And it's worth noting that out of these, only two are part of the M18 Fuel Series, being the impact wrench and the bandsaw, but that did not spill over to the drill. I like the compact brushless drill a lot better than the M18 fuel counterpart because it is very lightweight, but more importantly, it's still extremely powerful. When we look at the M18 radio charger, this is going to be a little bit bigger than other manufacturers' standard radios, but it has excellent sound quality and sound levels. But my favorite feature of it by far is the fact that it can charge batteries and I can listen to the radio at the same time without hearing any interference or distortion. And finally, my favorite tool out of everything would be the LED Lantern. This thing has excellent light output, it has excellent run times, and I've easily ran over 100 high capacity battery packs through it with no issues. Now because all of these are part of the M18 lineup, it means that they'll all run off the same battery packs, whether that's the compact packs or the high capacity packs, and they're going to power them exactly the same way. If you like this video, please hit like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe and thanks for watching.